Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a requested video. Actually a few people wanted to see this, so, but then one of my close friends had said, hey, how do you do that? So I was like, I'll just do the video right now. So it is of this hairstyle right here. It's super easy, super simple. I absolutely love it. It makes it look like I spent forever on my hair when I really didn't. Once you get the hang of it, this hairstyle really takes like three to five minutes, depending on how much hair you have. So I mean, yeah, you can just do so much with it. You can style it. I just kept it as simple as possible. Um, well, sorta. Uh, but some people leave bangs out. You could put a braid around it. There's just so many ways you can just amp up this look. So I love this look and I hope you enjoy it too. So if you'd like to see how to get this hairstyle, then just keep watching. Okay, so we are going to be doing the sock bun tutorial. The best part about this hairstyle is you can just do so many things with it and it can take like your worst hair day and make it look like you spent hours on it when you really did. So we're just gonna jump into the tutorial. My mirror is over here, so if you guys see me looking this way, that is why. So today I'm working with, eh, I'm working with third day hair, so it's looking a little crazy, a little messy, a couple days of teasing it, and then like it not being washed. So normally people wouldn't leave the house looking like this, but you can, and it only takes a few minutes. Once you get the hang of it, it literally takes like five minutes from beginning to end. So you just gotta brush out any tangles that you have, which I have a lot. Ow, 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 ow. I have a lot, sorry. Like I said, pretty bad um, hair day for me. Now, you don't have to do absolutely every tangle because your hair is going to be up and everything. And actually, if it's not totally perfect, it'll work better because your hair will stick together and it will go through the bun easier. Okay, so before I move on, you will need a few things. If you would like to tease your hair, give it some body, you're going to need some hairspray. I do use the Big Sexy Hair Back Comb in a Bottle, the What a Tease. And then I also use um, a regular hairspray. This is the Garnier Fruit Tea Style Extreme Control Anti-Humidity Hairspray. And this is the Extreme Level Number 5. I use so many different hairsprays. I mean, they're all pretty similar to me. Well, like a finishing one. But this is like my definite go-to, which I did talk about in my favorite videos, which I will link down below. So you're gonna need some of that. And then if you really have dry hair, you need some sort of oil. You can use argan oil, but I'm gonna be using the BioSilk Therapy. I love this stuff, it is absolutely amazing. And then you're gonna need just a finishing spray if you would like your hair to look shiny. And then just a couple, or one TZ comb. I don't know why I have two down here. This is the Amped Up by Cricut. You can get it from that. This is the Amped Up by Cricut. Ooh, there's hair in it. You can get it from um, Sally's Beauty Supply for like $1.99 and these are my favorite teasing combs. It has the little thing at the top you can separate your hair and you can tease your hair with it and smooth your hair down. So I like these a lot. And then that, I don't know if I showed this to you, but you're going to need like a big old donut thing. You can choose whatever size you want depending on your hair length. When I had really short hair, I was using like the really small one. And as my hair got longer, I moved to the, to the medium one. Medium. I moved to the medium one and now I'm onto the large one. So yeah, make sure you get the one that's like the the cushiony foamy one so you can like stick bobby pins in it. So that's everything you're gonna need. Okay, so once you have all the tangles out of your hair, um, this is the part where I'm gonna tease my hair. So you don't have to do this part, but um, for those of you that are curious, because I have gotten questions on how I just get a big bun all around, then I'm gonna answer those right now. So you can kind of tease as much as you want. My tease has kind of fallen out for the past few days, so I'm going to do a little bit more than I originally planned. But, um, so if you want to leave bangs out, you could choose the ones you want to leave out and then just do the rest. But I kind of put my bangs in just because my bangs are just so long now. I don't like them because they're all the way down to here and I just don't like that. So I'm going to start out with the top. I just grab, you know, a section. I use just like the end of it. Ugh. And then I grab my... Okay, so then I grab my it, um, I grab my wet a tease and I just do a couple sprays and then I just let it dry just a little bit and then I start at the root. You don't want to go up too high, but then you just kind of back comb it a little bit, being very gentle. And then boom your hair goes up to there so then sometimes like if you don't 
if it's not tall enough for your liking, you can go in with a little bit more just regular hairspray. Tease it just a little bit, or spray it just a little bit, and kind of just leave it up. Eh, I don't like Ugh. I'm just gonna tease a little bit more. I do like it to kind of, because I do smooth it out, so then if I want to stay big, I gotta make it a little taller because it is gonna flatten out. So this is kind of where I like it. Oof. So then you just move on. Now when you're doing the bun, I usually go back all the way to the crown of my head, but since I'm doing a bun, I'm only doing the first two sections. And then also the second section, I tease it in the front too. And then you just kind of frame your face with teasing. So you kind of take a section right here and you kind of just, the upside to doing teasing hair when you're doing it up is you don't have to tease it as much because the rest of it's hidden. I forgot like the most important part. Okay, so now that your hair is looking va va voom, um, you have to go locate a hair tie, which I forgot, so one second. So now that I have a hair tie, you're going to need that too, by the way. Um, then I just flip my hair down, and I gather it all together where I kind of, you know, want my bun to be. I do like it higher up, but you can kind of put it wherever you want. And then this is going to, then you kind of just smooth your hair out. Don't, I don't usually want to smooth out too much because I do look at, I don't want to smooth out too much because I do like it looking a little bit more messy. It just makes it look more relaxed. Um, but I'm going to fix that. So it looks like I put all my tees out, but I really didn't. So you will see what I do next. So then you just tie your hair off. Okay, so I had to like put you guys up a little bit just so that you can see the top where I go to. I'm gonna fix that. It's just I want you to be able to see the whole thing. And that's a weird K right angle. Anyways. Ugh. So you just put your hair through like so and you slide this to the top. And I gotta lean back so you can see. Oop, I put it up too high. You just wanna go up high enough to where or you wanna go up as high as you can, but to where you can still tuck some of your hair in to the little donut thing. Okay, so there we go. All right, and then you just start to roll it. Sometimes you like to do it a couple times. It just depends on if your hair wants to cooperate. Like right now, my hair just doesn't want to cooperate. Maybe I just brushed my hair too much. I don't know. It works best with messy hair, to be honest with you. Because then your hair sticks together. Okay, so I know this is looking crazy right now, but uh, hang on. Okay, so I got it. All right, so it's all looks, it, it's actually pretty much just like stuffed in there. You gotta do what you gotta do, especially when you have as much hair as I have. I, I can't even wear extensions. I can't even wear extensions because I have so much dang hair. It's kind of annoying actually. Okay, so then what I do, once I have my hair up in the bun, that is not it. Um, then I like to style it a little bit. You can leave it like this if you would like, but I just want to style it a little bit, kind of bring it to my own taste sometimes. Like before I put it up, I'll leave one thing out and I'll braid it and then I'll tuck it around here, but I'm not going to do that today. So what I do now, um, I kind of just take it from the center and I, like, I pull it apart. I kind of want it to be almost like the width of my head just because I like my hair bigger. Um, you don't have to do it that much. It's your own preference. But that's just how I like it. And then what I do is I take the kind of end to my teasing comb and I just start to, the part that I tease, I stick it through and I like pull my hair forward a little bit. So what this does is it kind of makes my hair look more bigger and then sometimes I'll even just take my hands and I'll pull it to just the body that I want. Get back in there. And if you have any hairs going out, that's like the point of the, the bobby pins, we're going to fix that. So once I get it to where I want it, think about right 
about like that. I think I'm happy with that. I want a little bit in the front. I want my hair to look big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so I think I'm happy with that. So sometimes then I'll just take some pieces from the side, just all like the little baby hairs, and I will just bring them down. I don't know, like, why I feel out of breath right now. Ugh, there we go. And if I want to stick together, I just like wet my finger a little bit and stick it together. Okay, so now comes the bobby pins. You just take like bobby pins, you just place them wherever you feel like it's a little bit loose. And if you have hair sticking out, this is when you can kind of hide those. But you do want to at least put about four, two in the front and two in the back, just to kind of hold it in place. So I'll put one right there. And then put one right there. All right, so now what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll spray it. Okay, so that's actually it. It's a very, very easy hairstyle and it's perfect for those days when you're having a really bad hair day and you just want to kind of look put together without taking a lot of time. Sorry about that, I was not happy with where the camera was, but uh, I think I'm happy with it now. So anyways, I love this hairstyle. It is perfect for those days when like you're having a bad hair day and you don't have a lot of time and you're just like, I don't know what to do. I don't have time to wash my hair, so you could just throw it up throw it in this and then just kind of do whatever you want with it. I know it seemed like this tutorial took a little bit but it takes me longer if I'm explaining something and then also when I'm trying to explain something I can't seem to do it right. I actually had to redo this five times but that part got edited out so yeah today my hair was like no I'm not gonna cooperate. Ah. So my hair hates me but anyways um, this is the finished result. I really love this hairstyle. It's maybe a little bit too much sometimes I wear it a little too much. Um, but I mean, I love it. It's just so simple and pretty and easy and it just looks gorgeous even though you really didn't spend a lot of time. I mean, if I took it out of this, my hair is like knotted and it's dirty and people just wouldn't think that it should look like this, but it does. So yeah, I really hope this video was helpful for you. If you try out this hairstyle, please, please, please tweet me or Instagram me a picture or something. Um, my Instagram and Twitter are down below. Same with all my other social media. I'll have details down below um, on, you know, makeup and jewelry and blah, 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 because I got some new jewelry that I'm kind of obsessed with. So, yeah. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up and comment down below and hit subscribe, like I always say. So, other than that, uh, uh, yeah. So, I'm thinking get going, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.